Hi, this is Studio X, and today I will be showing you a tutorial on how to create cinematic camera animation inside of Cinema 4D by using the least amount of keyframes possible. You can see we have a very interesting camera animation that can be used in very different scenarios, making your Cinema 4D projects a lot more cinematic. I will break down the way I did it right now, so there's not much, not much to see. And there's also an atom array on top of it, but I will uh, disable it just so it renders faster. So the first step is to actually create a camera. So I will click on the camera here. Let's set our project to 1920 by 1080. Just so we can get the aspect ratio that we're looking for. And if I zoom out, we can uh, take a look at our camera and where it's positioned. So the first step is to actually change the focal length. So think about the project you're doing and think about a real camera if this was in real life. So because I'm trying to make a very cinematic looking close-up camera that's getting very small little details in this text, I'm gonna change my focal length, which you can do by clicking on the camera and under the object tab, you can see it says focal length. So I'm just gonna click on this menu right here and just choose an 80 millimeter lens and you can see right away that when I click back onto my camera, it's a very, very zoomed in lens. Because of this, it doesn't, it's, it's a very different effect than just bringing your camera closer. It's actually a lot more zoomed in and it flattens your background as well it gives you more depth in your picture. So I'm just going to bring uh, the, the focus point here a little closer and I will just want to fly around with my camera and try to get an interesting angle on my uh, on my text here. So I'm gonna look at the letter S and bring it in and I don't want to just keep it positioned flat you know on the same level I want to get it from a little bit below so I want to get it from an angle below so we can get an interesting perspective as well as get some parallax of the text so when I'm moving I want to have some kind of interesting move motion like this but I will not be keyframing my camera itself so now that I find an angle that I really like over here so it's gonna be focusing a lot on the curve of the letter S over here I'm going to uh, leave my camera here and exit out of it and see where it is so now that I see that my camera is kinda angled over here I'm going to make a new circle path and I'm going to rotate it and kinda try to match where that camera position is I'm going to click on this so I'm moving it in the uh, world system that way I can move it up and down without uh, affecting any other coordinates of it and as I can see I need to get a bigger radius so I'm just going to bring the radius up and so here we have my, my, my circle path next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on my camera and under cinema 4d tags I'm gonna press align to spline and then I'm gonna press and hold on the circle and bring it into the spline path tab. So as you can see, it already brings my camera to the wrong position. It brings it to the beginning of the circle. So I'm just gonna click on the circle, unclick the world uh, coordinate, and go into rotate, and just rotate just so my camera is where I want it to begin on the path. So now you can see that the camera is always facing the same direction. So what I'm just gonna do is I am going to go into uh, the camera options and just get a target camera and just take the target expression here and just bring it to my camera and delete the camera that, uh, that Cinema 4D created. I'm going to take my camera target that I have here and place it onto the 
uh, the curve on the S that I want my camera to focus on. So now if I click to look through my camera, you can see that uh, it basically keeps the center point of where the camera is pointing at the camera target. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go into my, uh, my align, align to spline expression and I'm going to be keyframing the position. So as you can see, as I'm going up on the percentages, it moves uh, the camera along this path. So I'm just going to keyframe the position over here. And I'm going to go to the end on keyframe 90. And I'm just going to advance it in time so that it's moving. I think 10% looks pretty good. And I'm going to end the keyframe there. And I'm going to click on the keyframes here. And I'm going to interpolate it linearly. That way, it doesn't start and stop at the end. So when I'm cutting on the action, it's always cutting on the motion. So if I play it, you can see that it's just it starts right away and it just continues all the way until the end. So now we have one camera motion and it's the 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 path along this spline. So now the second thing that I want to do is I'm going to be keyframing the circle actually moving up and down. So once again, I'm just going to click on this uh, world position here. And I'm going to go to the to the end and just to make sure that my circle is selected. And I'm going to keyframe it at the bottom. And then at the very end on keyframe 90, I'm going to bring it up and uh, put another keyframe. And I'm just going to make sure that it's again some kind of perspective that I like so let me just bring it up and just make sure it's some kind of some kind of motion that I do actually like so this looks pretty good so if I play it through uh, we're getting the circle going up and we're getting a nice interesting perspective I think it's a little too much uh, action going up so I'm just gonna go uh, to the end and just lower it slightly and keyframe it and once again we're gonna go to the first and last keyframe and make sure it is linear and let's look at our camera motion here so now we are getting a nice interesting camera motion effect going on here so now because we are getting all this X and Y motion and let's just save the project here I'm just gonna call it basic 2 now we're getting all this interesting camera motion but we're not getting any actual lens effects going on so I'm gonna click on my camera and I'm gonna keyframe the focal length so let's keep it at 80 in the beginning and at the end I'm gonna make it zoom in to around 105 and uh, keyframe it there as well and once again, I'm going to go and make it linear because I'm planning on cutting from different shots into this. So as you can see, the camera is slowly zooming in as it's moving along a spline and that spline is going up. So we're getting a very interesting effect happening over here. So let's, uh, I'm just going to make a new material and just uh, apply it over the tinted effect just so we can actually see um, some interesting motion going on here. So as you can see, we're getting a very nice camera, mo camera movement. Another thing that you could do as well is you could actually rotate the camera on this spline and uh, it's just if you're interested in doing that. So I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to go to the rotate tool and I'm just going to, you know, rotate it negative four degrees and let me just make sure that the, the camera is selected and I'm going to leave it go into my coordinates here and keyframe it right here and I'm gonna go to the very end and I'm just gonna make it from negative 4 to normal 4% and let's click on these again and make sure that all of our keyframes are linear here 
and let's take a look at the camera motion so that's looking really really nice I think that looks great so and that's that's basically it that's how you can uh, make very interesting and smooth cinematic camera animations without actually keyframing anything on the actual camera I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I hope you learned something new if you have any questions make sure to leave a comment and if there's anything specific that you're looking to learn make sure to comment down below if you're new to this channel be sure to subscribe I will have a lot more new tutorials coming out soon and uh, I hope you have a great day and uh, I'll see you in the next one